Hi, I'm Dr. Gandhi, a chiropractor. Today, I'm going to show you how to use a steam leader. For you to be watching me means you've purchased the steam leader, and I want to congratulate you on making probably the purchase of your life because a steam leader really helps many problems. Many people in pain with different symptoms have really discussed how well the steam leader works with them. Today, I'm going to show you how to use a stimulator. Who needs a stimulator? Basically, anyone can use a stimulator because it's safe and effective. My grandmother is 96 years old, and she uses a stimulator every day. She's got leg cramps and feet problems, and she uses it just to help her get through the day. Also, I have an 8-year-old son that I use a stimulator on myself at home for certain problems, and a five-year-old daughter that I've used a stimulator on also for certain problems. So there is no age limit to the stimulator. Many times a person will come into my office and they'll say, Dr. Gandhi, I'm getting old, trying to relate their age with their health and pain problems. And my belief is we're getting older, not old. Just because we're aging does not mean we have to hurt. And today we're going to show you how you can get relief. Now, who should stay away from using the stimulator? Or under what circumstances should you maybe not use the stimulator? I don't think you should use the stimulator over a pacemaker because it's an electrical apparatus and the stimulator shoots out an electrical spark. I think you should stay away from the abdomen of a pregnant woman. I think also if you're on oxygen, you should unplug or turn the oxygen off before using the stimulator. Don't use a stimulator over a flammable liquid because, of, again, of the spark that it transmits. So there are certain things that you should stay away from using the stimulator for, yet the stimulator has proven very effective and safe for everyone. When should you use the stimulator? Basically, when you feel the coming of pain or tension or excitability any time you just don't feel right, you can use a stimulator. Oftentimes, it's good to get a problem before it actually gets going or started, but there is no best time to use a stimulator. You can use it whenever you want to. That's what's so great about it. Where can you use a stimulator? Personally, I've used a stimulator while in a theater. I've used it in a restaurant while dining. There is such a good marketability with the stimulator that you can use it anywhere you want to. No one's going to look at you and why you're using it or what it is because the stimulator is very effective wherever you are at the time. Is the stimulator 100% effective on everything? No. What is? Nothing that I'm aware of is effective all the time. Yet I'm sure that as you use the stimulator and as I show you today how to use the stimulator more effectively, you're going to find that you're going to be able to get relief most of the time. And if you've bought the stimulator for one specific need and you don't get 100% use of the stimulator, I know that for something else down the road, you're going to find the stimulator good for that. Or you're going to have a relative that can use a stimulator or a friend or a neighbor you're going to see that pretty soon this is going to be your best friend. You're going to carry it with you all the time, and oftentimes people will say or call you Doc. They'll say, hey, Doc, come over here and use that stimulator thing, that little popper thing on my shoulder. Come on over here, Doc, and use it on me. And you're going to be very happy with this purchase. What we're going to do right now is I'm going to show you how to effectively use a stimulator on yourself and also on someone else. The relief it gives me is worth more than any amount of money that somebody can give me for that. It's always, every time I use it, it helps me. <laughs> every single time I've used it. I'd like to share a story with you, a personal story about the steam leader and myself. Chiropractic is a very physical job. I use my hands continually all day long and I see patients from 8 in the morning until 7 o'clock at night. So you can see that I'm constantly in motion and use, and my hands receive a lot of physical abuse. To the point, I actually thought I was going to have to give up chiropractic 
because of severe pain I was having in the knuckle. A hundred percent of the time, my knuckle hurt all the time, and especially as the day progressed, I had more and more pain. I started using the stimulator on myself, as you can do with yourself. At first, I really didn't see improvement. It felt a little bit better for a short period of time, but then it would go back to what it was before. It took about a week until one day, just out of the blue, I noticed I had no more pain. It was like a gradual process. Now, what I do is every once in a while, maybe every two weeks or three weeks, I need to use the stimulator on myself about eight or ten repetitions just to keep the pain down. This is what we're talking to you about. We're not saying that the stimulator is going to completely eradicate all of your aches and pains. Nothing does that. Yet what the stimulator can do and has done for me is to help you to be able to live with what aches and pains that you have. It gives you a tremendous amount of relief to the point for myself, I no longer worry about if I can continue on in chiropractic because of this pain. I now can do anything I like to do. With yourself, when you're using a stimulator on yourself, I want you to keep in mind that oftentimes you'll see instantaneous relief. And yet sometimes you need to use a stimulator repetitiously over a period of time. For instance, let's say your shoulder started bothering you. Here's what you do. All you do is right around the area of pain, you apply the stimulator. Will it go through this sweater and shirt? Yes, it will. It'll go right through it. You can feel it just as if it was on skin. So you don't have to take your clothes off or worry about that. You just apply it to the stimulator right where the pain is, and you just press the little knob, and it shoots the spark of energy right into the shoulder area. And you just go right around that area about 8, 10, 12 times. And then you just leave it alone. Go about your business, you see how you feel. Five or ten minutes later, you want to do it again, go ahead and do it again. It won't hurt you. Go ahead. Again, you just apply it to the area of pain. You do it about eight or ten times. And you see how you feel. It's so simple. Now, what happens if the pain doesn't go away? It means you have a little bit more of a problem. Is that unusual? No, that's the way life works, isn't it? So, for instance, let's take for instance an overweight person goes on a diet. Are they going to be skinny tomorrow? Well, no. But over a period of time, they're going to see changes just like with the stimulator, just like with exercising. You can start exercising today, but will you be in shape tomorrow? No, but the more you use it, oftentimes the better condition, the better shape you're going to be. So what happens with this shoulder? Sometimes with my patients, I'll say to them, you need to use a stimulator over a period of days. We're starting with Monday, say. Use a stimulator every two or three hours, about eight or ten repetitions, maybe for five or six days in a row, or whatever it takes for you to start seeing relief. You can't use a stimulator too much. So that's how we work it. So on my fingers, I just did it right on the area of joint. I did it on top, on the sides, and on the bottom. That's all I did about eight or ten times. Whenever I thought about it again, I did it again. I only did it about two or three times a day for three or four days, and I started seeing changes. I was very happy with that, as you can imagine. So there is no limit to how often or what you need to do. So you need to use a stimulator on yourself because everyone's body is different. So let's say you have other symptoms going into your hand, maybe some tingling. Use a stimulator around your wrist. Very simple. Just go right around the areas of pain. Just take seconds. You can use it anywhere you want to do. It's very effective. It's very effective used correctly. You can go to the counter and buy anything you want to for pains in that, but some of us can't just take aspirin. Some of us just can't take certain medications or anti-inflammatory drugs because they upset our stomach. This I can relieve the pain and I don't have to swallow anything. I don't have to worry about it upsetting my stomach or ruining my dinner or whatever because it's outside my body. I apply it when I want it and it works. Craig has been nice enough to help me on this next segment because I have found that when you have another person help you use the stimulator, sometimes it's even more effective. Sometimes it's even a stronger stimulation. So today, right now, I'm going to show you how to use a stimulator with a partner. There are over 20 million confirmed headache sufferers, just the United States alone. 
So I'm going to start off showing you how to use a stimulator if you have a headache. If you have a headache or sinuses or allergies, we basically use the stimulator in the same way. So what I usually do with the stimulator is, let's say he has a frontal headache and it hurts right across his temple, across the forehead, and even into the sinus areas. That's what we're going to show you. If you have a, an occipital headache or it hurts in the back of the head along the base of the neckline, I'll show you that in a minute how to do it. So what I usually do is I put the stimulator on the forehead and just press the stimulator and you can hear the sound and then I go down right above on either side of the eye. There's a little notch right there. You can feel it with your finger. And then I go down to the temple area on both sides. Right in the cheekbone to the chin and back up. How'd that feel? It's fine. Did that hurt at all? No. No. Most people, when they use a stimulator, don't feel any pain. I've had people tell me that what it feels like is if you take a little rubber band and you let go of it. That's what the stimulator feels like to some people. Now I have to say that some people don't like the feel of the stimulator. But there are ways I'm going to show you how you can lessen the effects of that so everyone can use a stimulator. Now why don't you turn your head to your left and I'm going to show you if you have an occipital headache. What I do is I put the stimulator right back on the baseline of the head, the back of the head and the neck muscles. With my finger I put it on the exact opposite side and just press the stimulator about eight or ten times. That's all that it takes. Now, what do you do then? You wait. Very simple. You wait and see how you start feeling. Give yourself five or ten minutes. See how much pain has lessened, how much relief you've gotten. If you want to, then you can do it again. If you haven't gotten much relief or you want more relief, do it again. You can do this often without any side effects. Let's say that you don't get results the first time. Does that mean that it doesn't work? No. That means you want to send it back? No. What does it mean? It means that what you want to do is you want to use it more repetitiously over a period of time. Now, also with headaches, what I always do is I always stimulate the web of the fingers between the thumb and the first finger on both hands. And what I do, as you can see, I start putting my one finger, this completes the circuit. He can feel the stimulator go from the contact point right through because this helps buffer the, the area of stimulation about eight or ten times again, just like that. Can you feel how that goes through right there? Mm -hmm. This is for headaches, this is for sinuses or allergies. After I do that hand, I do this hand the same way. I put the stimulator right between the thumb and the forefinger and my finger on the other side. Now do you see how only the tip of my finger is touching and only the tip of the stimulator is touching? See how that? I'm not touching like this and my hand is not laying all over it because if you do that then you're reducing the effects of the stimulation. So watch how this. Can you feel that? It's less. Le quite a bit less, isn't it? Now one finger, see how much stronger it is? Mm -hmm. That's the way the stimulator works. So when you're working on someone else, you want to be careful how you're actually doing this. You don't want to put and just lay all over the person that you're stimulating, just like this. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to show how to use a stimulator on lower back pain or pain down the leg. So I'm going to have Mark, if you would, stand up with your back to the camera. Okay, good. Now, with the stimulator, the application will be right in this area because this is where usually the area is involved when it goes down the leg. So I'm going to get down like this because it's a little bit easier for me to work this way and show you. So what I would do is I would put the stimulator on this area. With my other hand, I would put it on his leg, just like this. And again, just press the applicator about 8 or 10 or 12 times. Now if I want to get a little fancy here, I can come up his leg while I'm doing it, following the course of the pain. Can you feel that? Mm -hmm. yeah. You can feel it all the way up and down. If it's the other leg, we do the same thing, just with the other leg, just like this. And he can feel the stimulator working up and down the leg. It's very, very simple on how to do this. Now, if you would, 
I'd like for you just to have a seat again, please. There are many, many people that have feet problems. The stimulator works very well with feet problems. And if you would, think of the feet and the hands equally because we have the digits. So as I'm talking about the feet, it works very similarly with the hands. Now, if a person has a foot problem, what I would do is I would come down and I would stimulate each one of the toes with the stimulator. And with my other hand, I would put it on the ankle because this is a joint and this is a joint. I would go to the next joint up. So I would here. Can you feel that right there with my other finger? Yeah. And you can feel it. And I would just go around just like this and stimulate it. Go right up the foot and the ankle on either side. Very simple. Many people have feet problems. That's why there are specific doctors for feet problems. My grandmother is 96 years old, and she used the stimulator on her feet and on her calves nightly because of the problems that she has with circulation. And you can see with cramping, I'm just putting the stimulator right on the areas where the cramps would be and getting the general area. And then what happens is, the body handles it from there. It's very simple on how to use a stimulator. How did that feel? Felt fine. Felt pretty good, didn't it? Mm -hmm. Very simple. Pain pills is what I've been taking uh, for all these years. That's the only thing that gave me relief, you know. But uh, it didn't give me total relief, you know. Now that's when I tried the stimulator. Why it? Uh, well, it's amazing. It's. It's almost un hard to believe, you know, that uh, it would do that, but it did do it. It did the trick. Many people have abdominal problems, pains, and aches. Craig, why don't you stand up, please, and we'll show how to use a stimulator on that. Most of the times when a person has abdominal problems, they've already been to the doctor because sometimes it can be very serious. Other times, we don't know what the cause really is. But with the stimulator, we can help give you a lot of relief. Now, where would you apply the stimulator? Wherever you hurt, the area of pain. So let's just say the pain is right here. I would put the stimulator right on the shirt, right on the area. It goes right through the skin. With my other hand, I would put it on the middle part of his back to create the circuit. And then I would just stimulate the body about 8 or 10 repetitions. How's that feel? So fine. Fine. Then, again, what you do is you would just see the kind of results that you get. You might want to do it again in a few minutes, or maybe in an hour, or maybe it'll go away totally. Now, stress and tension. People have talked often about how this is very relaxing for them. Using the stimulator on the shoulders from the neck down through gives them a lot of relief, and it takes away a lot of tension. And you know, tension, tension and stress sometimes comes and causes headaches. So what you do is you just put the stimulator on the shoulder and your other finger on the neck, and you just zap it right on the trapezius muscle, and you can feel it go up and down. Or you can do it the opposite way, with the stimulator on the neck and your finger on the muscle. And this is a very soothing, relaxing effect on the body. Pretty good? Mm -hmm. That's great. Appreciate you helping me today. One fella in particular, I worked on, or zapped him, but I didn't work on him. He said, try that on me. So I did. And he had a stiffness in his shoulder like the previous interviewee. And he went to a ball game that night, and all he did was talk about stimulator. He didn't even pay any attention to the ball game. He said he felt better than he'd had in years. So the next time we come back to this particular customer. He said, you got that thing with you? I said, yeah, but I'm going to charge you to use it. And so he bought me a coffee. So uh, It worked for him again. So he says, where'd you buy it? So I told him. And I said, if you uh, go down there to purchase one, tell him who sent you. So that's the way it works. Uh, I use it in the evenings when I'm home after work. I use it on the balls of my feet, uh, around my ankles, knees. And then when I go to bed, I hit the lower back and I sleep like a baby. As I work with the stimulator, it's very obvious to me that soon this product will be worldwide. I believe that every household in America very soon 
will own a stimulator. It might even go to the point where each individual person in the household will own a stimulator because they'll want to keep it with them all the time. I also sincerely believe that the stimulator can help you lead a more active, productive, and pain-free life. And as you share the stimulator with your family and friends, which I hope you do, and soon I know that your family and friends are going to be calling you Doc, or they're going to be asking for you to use a stimulator on them, I would like for you to share with me your testimonials and how the experience of using the stimulator has helped you. I would like to know the kind of results that you've seen with the stimulator. If you have any questions at all about how to use the stimulator or different applications on using the stimulator or different problems on using the stimulator, don't hesitate to call me or don't hesitate to write to me. I would like and love to hear from you. In closing, I want to thank you for buying the stimulator. I want to thank you for using the stimulator and for sharing the stimulator. And I hope you have a wonderful, pain-free life. Basketball is an incredibly physical game. You are smashing into people. You are falling on the ground. You're running on a hard wood surface. Everyone else is as big and as strong and has spent as much time in the weight room as you have. The collisions. I broke my nose 13 times. 11 of them from people's elbows two of them from people's knees. And they even called a foul on me one of those times. Can you believe that? I had my front teeth knocked out ten separate times. Broken both hands, both wrists. It is a very physical and very rough game. That's the way we like it. Until you get old like me. And that pain just doesn't go away. Thank God Thank God for the stimulator.